everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft. So today, I've got something quite interesting to show you, or at least from the website, I am pretty stoked about it. So we're going to see if it's actually any good. This, everybody, is Dungeon Realms. If you want to play on the server, they're doing an open beta currently. The only means of getting onto the server is just by signing up to their forum. You put your Minecraft name into that, and it'll automatically whitelist you, which is exciting. And this is dubbed as being an action RPG Minecraft experience, but from what I've played uh, in the tutorial I Island so far, uh, or at least a very tiny part of it, it seems like it's an MMO inside of Minecraft and I know there's a lot of these in production so far and this looks like it's one of the ones that's managed to come out first. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Continue your journey and speak to the other guides on the island. So I will do that and fortunately I'm invisible at the minute so <laughs> that's not good and we're welcoming ourselves to the world. Oh god that's loud let me turn that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, oh speak to the island greeter. So I've already done that. Your next objective is to follow the road out of the house and meet your first guide. Ah. But if I speak to the ship sailor, then that means that I get teleported off into Tutorial Island. So I don't want to do that. So we've got a couple of things. We've got gems or emeralds. I use this currency in this world. We can right click our character book so we get an idea of all of our stats that we currently have. So this shows us stuff like HP, armor, DPS, um, also energy and all those sorts of things. Fire resistance. Obviously these stats will change depending on what items we have available to us. There's any number of different commands that we actually get to use as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also a suicide option as well, which is interesting and then there are realms now these are s things that i haven't really looked into yet but i think the idea of realms is that what the hell there's another invisible person i think oh god who goes there who's there um, stay back i will kill you uh but yeah we have this which basically allows me to open up another world i think or another instance i'm not sure i'm sure i'll learn about it later on you know in the uh in the tutorial island or something but there is no text pack for this apparently it runs on default text pack but in the trailer they uh they used the custom one so maybe at a later date i'll use a different one what would you use if you were playing an mmo inside of minecraft what text pack is best fit for like a fantasy world i'd probably say something like doku or maybe something along those lines i think that would be cool uh here is the interface guide the green number is your total health uh which i don't have in the middle of my screen right now and also this bar here the experience bar is your sprint so it'll eventually slowly go down and when it runs out to zero i can no longer sprint so that's just a little thing that i've noticed already uh that i should let you know about we've got the equipment master your character journal has lots of useful functions and information right click your realm star on the ground to open your realm good times uh, to discover your next objective, sp finish speaking to him. Okay. You can add players to the realm build list by shift and left clicking. Oh, wait. So maybe there are different instances of the entire world. So I can open a realm and be like the master of that realm, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Open the realm shop by left clicking with your realm star inside your realm. So obviously I can't currently do that. I don't know what else you could probably buy with that. No one can build inside your realm unless you add them to the list. And you can make a realm safe zone by purchasing an orb of peace from an item vendor. Okay, an orb of peace makes your realm a safe zone for one hour. That makes sense. You can fly in your realm. An orb of fly. Okay, that must cost an absolute crap ton though, doesn't it? To use your orb of flight, you must have an active orb of peace. Ah, so you can only fly when it's peaceful in that area. So it's like having peaceful mode on and also having creative mode on. That's interesting. Traps are permitted inside the realm, but not do not lure others. You may place blocks on realm chests to secure the contents. Oh my god. Speak to the master miner next. Okay, that's cool. And that's everything I spoke to you about. Cool beans. So these are... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, the item vendor. Maybe you have the... Ah, the Orb of Flight. Oh, and also the Orb of Peace. 400G, that seems sensible, I think. I don't know. I don't know how much is how much is too much in this game. And 5,000 enables fly in. And then also Guild Armor die. Oh, cool. So you can have guilds in this side of this. Oh, that's cool. Would I like to set one up? It's 5,000 gems. Let me see if it's bugged. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. So I've got the crafting bench seems to be the same as always. Or at least your inventory does. We've got a merchant. Oh, Click to accept trade. Well, he's not offering anything to trade, so I'm not going to trade with you. An animal tamer. Oh, that's pretty cool. How much is that? 3,000. Get out of here. I'm not, I don't want to ride a pig for 3,000. That's insane. Skill trainer. Ah, no, he said I had to go speak to the miner. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's the miner. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I need to get a pickaxe before I go over to him? Or It's 100G. How do I know how much money I've got? Is it in this? 
Ah, e-cash. I've only got zero in the minute. <laughs> I say only got. That basically means I have nothing. I have nothing inside of here. Here's the master miner. Hello, my friend. There's five tiers of ores. Receive a pickaxe by purchasing it from the skill trainer, which I can't do because I'm broke as a joke. Your pickaxe levels up by a tier every 20 levels. Right, that makes sense. So wait, is there a mining level inside of this? Oh god, I'm going to want to get 99 in everything, kind of like RuneScape. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I don't see a mining stat on here. Unless this one in the later pages. Unless you get a separate book if you do some mining. Let's have a look. Oh! Oh, thank you. I got five coal ore. That's pretty cool. Uh, if your pickaxe reaches level 100, it cannot be repaired or level further. Uh, ah, here be some... Oh, here be some more ore. Wait, is he a pirate? I thought you were a miner. Ah, here be some more ore for your time. You could trade it with that merchant. Right, okay. Where's the merchant at? He is over... There he is. Okay, cool. So if I speak to you, if I put the ore in... Oh. Oh. No, come back. Come back. No, I want to trade. Let me trade with you. Oh, God. Maybe I have to right-click with it. No? Shift click. No, why don't you want to trade with me? Trade accepted, trade cancelled. Nothing happened. Right, well, balls to it. I'm keeping the call for myself. Screw you, man. <laughs> That's it. I don't even care. I think the idea there was I was supposed to trade him some coal, get some money for it, and then buy a pickaxe and then speak to you, I think. When it reaches level 100... No, that's everything. Okay, never mind. Uh, objective complete. Speak to the master miner. Claim your reward by speaking to him, then continue down the road. Oh, okay, maybe I don't have to trade with him. Maybe I can trade the coal with a merchant when I get into the main world. That would make a lot of sense. There's a little dock by the looks of things. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, wow, look at this sandcastle. Is there, like, an Easter egg inside of here? Let me have a look. There might be an Easter egg inside of this sandcastle. And am I the only person who really misses having my hand on the screen? Oh, of course, this cake. But I can't reach it because there's some kind of invisible block here. Screw you, man. I didn't want the cake anyway. That's sandstone. I can't even break that. Never mind. Right, here we go. The master fisherman. Let's see what he's got. Let me climb up onto here. Might have to go... Oh, no, I'm okay. I thought maybe I'd have to go all the way back up the hill, but I seem okay. Life is precious. Use if needed. Oh, is it... <laughs> it's a life ring. I like it. It's good. Arrgh. I be a pirate as well, then, Nady. There are many types of fish in the sea. Watch out for the flying Dutchman. Oh, that's cool. Uh, claim your reward by speaking to the master fisherman and continue down the road. Speak to the alignment guide next. Here's a freshly cooked raw shrimp. You should cook it over by the fire. Okay, cool. How do I do that? Just right-click on there, or... Nope, that doesn't work. Right-click with it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So, I, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Watch closely, Sonny. You might miss something. What if I show you it? Oh. Did I just eat it? Is the eating animation really fast on this server? Oh, balls. I'm just going to waste the only food I'm going to get given for this entire game. Oh, I say entire game. This entire tutorial island, I'm assuming. Right, what do we got here, then? Blank. Uh, player shops. Sneak and left click with your character book in order to set up your very own shop. Sneak, left click. Oh, I can't place them on the island. Okay, never mind. And that's what an example shop looks like. Oh, cool. So I can have my own little marketplace. Uh, right click with your gear to repair it. Okay, cool. So I don't have any gear, I don't think. No, I'm completely empty at the minute. And then there are banks. You can access your bank from an ender chest. So yeah, that just works like an ender chest usually would, doesn't it? Place them anywhere in the world, access it from another one. I'm assuming they'll be. you'll find them inside of like either banks or inns. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look here. What have we got? Oh, okay. So these are the tiers of armor and weapons. So it's pretty standard like in Minecraft. Leather, chain, iron, diamond, gold. Good stuff. Uh, vitality plus health. And plus sword damage. Strength is plus armor, plus axe damage, plus block. And also dexterity. Oh, okay, cool. So if I want to be a melee, it's vitality. Axe is strength. And dexterity is bow. And my axe, yes. I don't know, I don't know what class to roll, actually, inside of this. Let's have a look. Ah, the alignment guide. Hello. Oh, my God. All three of you just started speaking to me. <laughs> don't, let me just speak to you really quickly. Oh, okay, so I see. So there are different kind of modes you can be. So if you attack other people... You'll become uh, neutral, and if you're doing it too much, then you'll become chaotic. That makes sense. Uh, finish speaking with the alignment guide and head down the road. Good stuff. And that's it. That's all I've got to speak to you about. Okay, cool. Speak to the neutral guide. Don't get anything off of you. And I get nothing off of this guy as well. I should really read that. I'll read it afterwards when I'm not doing a video. Um, oh! Oh, wait, there we go. It's pinging through all of them. Okay, finish speaking to the chaotic guide and head down the road. 
to check how long you're in the chaotic for, check your character journal. All right, let's have a look. Does it say? Uh, no, it seems okay. Oh, also as well, it says lawful, 30% armor on death. So that must mean that... It must mean that the more you kill people, the more of a disadvantage you'll be at when you die. So you might lose more items, potentially, or maybe it's just you lose more armor. Hmm. Toggle jewels do toggle jewels. Okay. I'm going to fight you, my friend. Oh, I can't do it. Maybe I can't do it until I'm off the island. Let me speak to you. Oh, wow. There we go. Got a hatchet. Turn on the marksman. His shoe is untied. <laughs> what? The marksman? Oh, I see. Right. Uh, what's that? Right, then. Here's a training weapon. Give it a few sharp swings at the dummy. Cool. Die, dummy, you with a bastard. Die, die. No, it's not. It's doing anything. All right, never mind. Marksman. Hello, mate. I'm a bit up in your grill. Let me step back a bit. Speak to the armor guide next. Is that all you're saying to me? Keep the eye on the prize. Oh, cool. Let's finish speaking to him. Oh, yeah. I got some arrows, but I don't have a bow. Can I get it out of there? Why would you do that? Why would he? Let me speak to you again. Who are you looking at? My bow is legendary! <laughs> Whatever you say, mate. Why don't I get given a bow? How am I supposed to practice this? That's weird. So maybe he wants us just to become an axeman. I mean, that's what I was contemplating anyway. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. Uh, items that have less than half durability cannot be sold in shops. Okay. You can use scraps as a portable method for repairing broken items. Okay. To get scraps, exchange a piece of tiered equipment to the merchant. Right, okay. So the merchants only react to certain items. So he probably doesn't react to coal, but if I was to run back to him and give him uh, a piece of armor, then he would exchange it for one of these if it was um, if it was leather armor. That if it was chain, that if it was iron, and obviously diamond and gold as well. It seems strange that gold is above diamond in this. Usually in Minecraft, gold is all the way down here, isn't it? Or is it stronger than iron? I still don't know to this day. I really don't know. <laughs> Let's go straight to the enchanter next. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Is that like numerous crystals inside of each other? There's like two inside of there, I think, or maybe three? No, there's two inside of there. Hello, my friend. So, orbs of alteration can randomize the attributes of a desired item. Okay. You can make orbs of alteration by exchanging the amount of scraps to the merchant. Okay, what, to, the, to him or to the normal merchants? Orbs. Okay, so I need 120 iron scraps to get orbs. 60 diamond scraps. So, bear in mind, I've got to give 60 pieces of diamond armor in order to get in order to get scraps to give to this guy to enchant an item so the prices are pretty high in this that's insane enchant a wooden weapon oh okay so if i put that in there use this enchantment scroll on your weapon to increase its potency oh wait hold on to use an enchantment scroll simply drag it on top of oh i see oh wait what does this do then this is going to do plus five percent damage the weapon will vanish if enchant above plus three fails so there we go if i drag that on top Oh, that's cool, and there's fireworks and everything. That's very cool. So now my weapon isn't just a dud weapon anymore. It's now just three to five. That's pretty cool. So it's kind of like the Hypixel map that we tried, where everything is given a set tier and a set damage uh, rating. I like that when you equip it as well, you get a noise. That's pretty sweet. So enchantment scrolls, and then we also have orbs of alteration, which is cool. Do we get given one of those? That's it. Uh, after plus three enchantments, there is a possibility the item will fail to enchant and break. Oh, okay, so it's currently on plus one, and I can upgrade it two more times. But I'm assuming it doesn't always have to be a damage rating. Maybe I can get, like, I don't know, unbreaking or something. Unless these items never wear down. Although that wouldn't explain the anvils, would it? So items do wear down, and I can rescue them. This is very cool. I'm well into this. I love the idea of this. Okay, let's head down to here then. So I think that's where I was meant to go next. Um... Continue speaking to the item enchanter, then continue down the road. Oh, that's it. Yeah, just continue down the road. And then we are met by... Oh, the captain of the ship. Hello there, mateys. How are you doing this fine day? Are you ready to start your adventure in the little wood? Uh, yes. Why? There we go. Ship captain. Oh, I've got full armor as well. Thank you. Whoa! Ow! What was that? Why did I suddenly get hurt? That makes no sense. Why am I taking damage? Why are we all taking damage? Did I land inside of that? So that's why I'm taking... Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, there's a little baby zombie. Is he a pet? Oh, no, let me kill him. Come here. Come here, little git. Oh, I can't attack him. What? 
No, 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 I, do, I don't want to fight you. Sorry, no, I don't, I don't want to fight you. I really don't want to fight you. So I like that in the spawn area, there's actually a load of, like, character shops. I don't know if you can leave these here when you're not actually, like, present. Well, like, when you're not online, if you could still leave it there AFK. Or if it just stays there the entire time you're here. Let me try and set one up. So if I shift and left click. Was it left click? You're too close to an already open shop. Right, well, if I go over here then. Try that. Oh, that's wicked. I like that. You must name your shop first. Simply enter any name you desire. What, do I have to left click on it again? Oh, no, I broke it. So how do I do it? Enter a shop name. Oh, okay, cool. So if I do in the little shop, and then does that rename itself? In the little... Oh, well, it exceeds it. Okay. Um, in the shop. Oh, no, no, wait. ITLW store. Ah, oh, that's cool. So now, what's this? To stock your shop, simply drag items into your shop's inventory. Right, well, if I... I don't really want to sell anything right now. Okay, I'll do it later on. I'll do it later on when it's not so vital that I keep all of these things. There we go. Good stuff. Right, let's head out somewhere then. Who do I speak to? Is this just open world now? Is this just how it begins? If I speak to... Was there a merchant inside of here? Let me see. Ah, oh wait. Is that a player or... Oh no, that's a guy. That's actually an NPC. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm edging to go sword training at the barracks. Okay, make sure you follow the laws around here. And that's it. That's all he's got to say. Right, okay. So I wonder how we pick up quests in this, if there are any quests. Uh, let me speak to this city worker. Hello. Have a nice day, mate. Working for the city is hard, but pays well. No, nothing from you. Ah, no, that's just another shop. What about... Are you a... I can't tell who's an NPC and who's not. The fountain was built in commemoration of the great kings of the past. This is the great plaza. We trade, talk, and jewel. Okay, well, if I head out of the plaza, then... Do I have any kind of, like, world map? <gasps> I should try the, the realm thing, the, the rune. How does this work? Do I just click with it? Whoa! Oh, hello. Realm title. Realm. In the little realm. Okay. And then what happens if I go in? Oh, God. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm so confused. <laughs> this is a bad move. Ah, okay. Hold on. So, wait. This is the extent of my realm currently, then. So am I able to upgrade the realm? Oh, this is really cool. So it's basically like player-based housing, essentially. That's very, very cool. So if I... Hold on, is it shift and right click? Or shift and left click? Which one is it? Oh, no, it's shift and left click with that one. Oh, right click. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so we can upgrade. Enter the code 26978 to confirm your upgrade. But I need 800 gems in order to do so. And I currently have none. I have no gems. Okay, cool. Well, at least we've learned that. Oh, wow. So I can actually buy things to place, I think. But considering I have no cash whatsoever. If I try and buy some dirt, maybe. This material costs 1G each. Oh, I see. So wait, so I start with a little squib, but then I can actually flesh it out so if you want you can just base you can just focus on player build you know places wonder what happens if i fall off is it worth oh no i don't want to jump off in case i lose all my items if i lose my only hatchet then i'm going to be absolutely buggered this is very cool i'm really really into this so where are we going from here how do i close the realm ah left click and then can i just place the realm wherever i want um oh you must be inside your realm to upgrade it but then I can't do that. You cannot open the realm shop outside of your realm. Oh, how do I actually create a realm there? Ah, right click. And then left click to delete. So I can access my realm from any place at any time. So if I was in like an intense PvP battle and I hid in like, in like a little alleyway, would I be able to just like get out of it by going to my realm? Unless they could chase me to my realm and then completely own me. That would suck. That would really suck. So what have we got? An orb of peace, orb of flight. We've already seen this guy before. What about Garuz? What are you selling? No, that's okay. The ways would make great building materials. You should try building yourself. No, I don't want to do that. Where am I going to? I think I might leave it there for today. That is Tutorial Island in an introduction. 
to the opening city pretty much i'm gonna go find out exactly what i need to do and let me know if you want to see some more of this i'll probably do another two or three videos and then see what you reckon for any more after that and you should totally come on and play with me because this is really really cool so thank you very much for watching everybody all the information will be in the description just head over to dungeonrealms.net if you'd like to play sign up to the forums put your minecraft name in it is case sensitive so remember to make sure as for example mine is all lowercase make sure you get that right and i shall see you all in a little bit Bye!